the sun's starting to come out so it's actually getting to be quite nice now so as you can see the panorama this is the salt flats and this is one of the waysides this is the opposite wayside that Kate and I stopped at on the way out here 20 years ago Welcome to the Bonneville Salt Flats. That's where we're at. This is the official Bonneville Salt Flats. That's where we've come from. getting ready to get into our first rain of the trip. As you can see, there's clouds ahead, rain ahead in Utah. So, uh, might not be able to get too much video done depending on how heavy the rain is. So, otherwise, we will come back as soon as uh, we determine how bad the rain is. But right now, the wind is pretty bad and we'll see how bad the wind the rain is. So, no records today, speed records today on Bonneville, so uh, we'll just deal with the rain and the wind. Traffic 
gets behind me, nothing in front of me, and it is a little bit rough. So, we'll just hang in here, kind of cruise, uh, taking it easy, and we should be pulling into our campsite in about two hours. Uh, it's 2.30 now, so between 4.30 and 5, we should be pulling into the camp for the night. And then we'll get up bright and early, make it to Cheyenne. Uh, on the third day, fourth day to Dubuque, and then fifth day to Whitewater if the weather continues to hold up. So, as I'm saying that, I'm looking at really dark clouds uh, up ahead. So, uh, I don't want to drive at night. Um, don't know the roads. So, uh, campsite at Phillips RV Park tonight. That is wild. So, it looks like about two hours from there, 39 miles to Salt Lake. So, so far we're doing pretty well. Everything's going well. Motorhome's functioning superbly. And I'm getting really good gas mileage. So, I'm very impressed. So far, from Berkeley to Salt Lake City, this cost me less than $275. So, uh, that's pretty good. So, uh, with that, uh, I'll hang up now, and we will pick you up probably as we get into Salt Lake in about 45 minutes. in Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City. Da, 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 da. So this is Salt Lake City. <laughs> so this is it. outside of Evanston and so thought I'd woo, I know it's really cold this is my fight this week Headwinds too, so that makes it even worse. So I have to do 120 miles an hour for six. So so I'm going to get ready to take off. Stretched, took took a leak. I'll be at my campsite in about 45 minutes. this even with the winds right now 
wind is just unreal. pretty good incline coming here in the wind and everything so I'm going to put the camera away again and Both hands are going on the wheel again. The tractor trailer is passing. You can actually see this, the layers, the striations of the rock. You can actually see how when these hills were formed, the rock hit other rock and just was thrust up. You can see the the stratification pointed straight up. So it was a violent, violent movement to cause such a upthrust 